This is from the 2015 Fiverr, three parts. Part one, what are the systemic and local factors that lead to atherosclerosis? So for the systemic, uh, hypertension and hyperlipidemia or high cholesterol are the key factors. Also toxins, specifically smoking being the, the big issue. Um, but you can also get things like infectious agents. agents. Uh, at the local level, it's about local flow to services. So this is why you see uh, more uh, atherosclerosis at different places, so specifically turbulence at branch points. Uh, part two, which arteries are the most affected by atherosclerosis? Uh, yeah, so if I guess if you start from the top, your circle of Willis, and then in the neck you've got your internal carotid arteries, and then in the heart you've got your um, coronary arteries, of course, uh, and then below that your lower abdominal aorta, and below that your popliteal. Uh, part three. How does a atherosclerotic plaque suddenly cause symptoms? So the key thing for this is rupture or erosion ulceration. And that can lead to a thrombus or thrombosis or embolism. Your thrombosis causing your MI or your stroke. Uh, the other thing that can happen is if you've got your atherosclerosis can lead to an aneurysm and then if that aneurysm ruptures and then you get a vessel rupture that's the other key way you'll get sudden symptoms. all right that's it thank you um just going down to the marking criteria here it is All right, that's it.